They are a force composed of humans who were repurposed to serve different functions in the Combine Empire. In the early days of the Combine's reign, they were far more diversified, with the Combine Grunt, which is like a less modified version of the Combine Foot Soldier, the Combine Ordinal, which was kind of a commander for individual squads, the Combine Hazmat and Worker Units, which are basically the Combine Cleanup Squad, and the Combine Heavy and Suppressor, both units which carry large weapons. However, by the time 20 years had passed since the Resonance Cascade, the Combine had unitized their transhuman forces a lot more. The Grunt and Ordinal were partly merged to make the Combine Soldier, the Heavy and Suppressor were merged into the Elite, and the cleanup crew appears to have been completely eliminated, along with the Construction Striders, which, for clarification, may just be a retcon. Lots of speculative fan art has been made regarding the transitional period between the units seen in Half-Life Alex and the ones seen in Half-Life 2, which I think is really cool. The transhuman combine forces are extremely modified humans whose brains and nervous systems have been almost entirely replaced by combine technology. They are designed to be restless, obedient, and efficient killing machines. While from the inside of an HEV suit they seem like mere obstacles in the way of the objective, their very biology has been modified to make them so much faster and stronger than the average human that they don't even need to factor in potential injuries when they employ the battle tactics that have been mentally inscribed into what remains of their brains. The transhuman forces, while not the most powerful of the Combine, are, without a doubt, one of the more fascinating specimens of Combine alteration.